here. Yeah, baby. I'm live, baby. I'm picking up from yesterday. Give me a few minutes to get ready since this is a live video. I'm going to be trapping out with waves, motion. <laughs> what do they call that bad boy? Motion FM. Motion FM. Flow motion FM synthesizer. I did something last night around midnight. I ran out for like three hours. So it's not listed on my channel. It's a little bit too much. So this video, I'm going to try to keep short and concise. Likely that's never going to happen. But I do have some guests arriving within the hour or so. So the doorbell or the knocking on the door will probably tell me it's time to wrap this video up. So that's that. Let me see if I'm actually live though, because that'd be convenient. I am live, got six watching. Shout out to everybody live. That's that. Um, I'm getting close to 18,000. So shout out to all of you guys who have subscribed. I noticed uh, one day I was looking at it and I dropped a few subscribers. And I was like, <laughs> oh, they don't want any more sauce. It ain't gonna hurt my feelings. But anyway, um, what's good? Shanann Ban, King Comet, Marquis, Marquis, Salid, Snow Barnes, what's good? Yeah, we're going to be trapping out with that Waves joint today until I start sweating in this jacket. Here it is. Here she is. I do have a video last night where I kind of explained it. Today, I'm just going through the presets. I'm not going to try to spend too much time on this. This trap doesn't take that much time. I think all good trap is one bar anyway. Bruh, come on now. So what I like to do for my trap since trap is one bar, you can only have one chord. So I like making the, the crazy chords like. Um, that's a cool chord to do it on. That's a sexier chord. Really good chord. Can we, uh, D minor is, I don't know if D minor sounds good on bass. I'm gonna try it on that chord. Oh, ho, 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 slow down. I'm gonna forget that as soon as I hit record. Whew, that was a lot of work. I don't know if this bad boy quantizes like I need it to. But I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because you can just chop it. Remove stuff. Um, I need it one bar long. Let's make sure our tempo is correct too, before I get too far ahead of myself. Trap tempo, I'll use single time. Sometimes I ask myself, what would Zaytoven do? That usually helps me answer a lot of questions mentally. So I'll make it two chords, but they're the same chord. I'm gonna get a different playing style for each one. Let. What's good, everybody? What's good, Nicole? King Comments, I was just watching your previous one. Hey. What's good, DJ Sam? What's good, BBG? What's good, Kurt? What's good, my audio marketplace? Villanova, A. Hey. Sauce time, hey. P. Row, what's good, bro? Main said we back, we are, we are back. Heard it sound chilling on melodics as usual. Hey, keep it up. I need to get back in my bag. I need to get up to level 10. I need to stop playing. Anybody here from Midnight Cook last night? <laughs> Probably not too many people. I think it was only like 50 last night. What's good, Candace? What's good, Sweet E? What's good, Tunes TV? Smitic Afternoon. Hey, what's good, bro? Let's jump into it. So I got an A minor ninth chord. I'm talking about this is trap. That chord is way too complex for some trapping. But... You never know, really, to be honest with you. Jeez. I want that. Come on, come on. Man, you ain't got to tell me twice. That dun dun, crang, 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 crang. <laughs> 
what is that? What is that about? Follow host, turn that off because I don't need it no more. This is a A, what was that chord again? A sharp minor? A sharp minor, yeah. So I'm gonna set my project in that studio one to that because I always forget no matter how many times I say it out loud, I do not see an A sharp. So it'd be a B flat, B flat minor, maybe. Is that correct? Yes. B flat, A sharp minor. Um, I need to add a chord track, but I need to define it myself. This whole thing is B sharp minor nine. B sharp minor, no, I add nine, a ninth. What we mean, bro? No, it's not a flat at ninth, it's a ninth. We'll do seven, I ain't got time. I really don't. I just need it for the root note for the bass, right? All right, and this is a uh, chords. A uh, woo, woo, woo. A sharp ninth, A sharp minor nine. There's an R and B preset, just in case I come back in the future. And now I need to go through motion synth, and motion synth is not going to sound that cool being played like that. But I hope it is. They got bells and stuff, and then I need to uh, fix the uh, what's the jigger? The synth is very loud. What is this? Whoa! <laughs> That's a very sultry sound. Let's take this modulation off. I'm tired of it doing that, to be honest. Although, if it was a real piano, you wouldn't want the sustain pedal activated. I just don't think the synth is doing that. That sounds ugly. Perfect. It's called Harry Mallet. So you know like all the waves joints have A and B. So if you click on this, this will go to B and then you can choose a different sound so you don't forget that sound. What was that called again? Harry Mallet? and mallets. That might be better. But you can go between them. This one's more lively. Let's uh do drum kits. Who's kit? Zaytoven's kit. That's what we'll use today. What's good, Easy M? Decibel, ain't nothing chilling. Working on this FM synth. What's good, Main? Is it still $39? I think so. I think at least for the rest of this week, if I'm not mistaken. What's good, Rufaro? Motion has a nice sound. Codex does too. Yeah, I remember trying out Codex when it came out. Give us some nice insights on these plugins. Adding it to my list. A. Hey. Wow, that sounds like a Billy Joel piano riff. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is it, what are we gonna call this? Billy Toven. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it this way. What's good, Rayon? What's good, Grimy Needle? Hey, and it's still wool, right? How much is the VSC? Thirty nine dollars on Waves for its introductory price. But if you miss out on it this week, you know it's gonna jump up to like five hundred dollars. What's up, MG Cooking again? Yeah, Bentino. I'm always working, bro. Is it worth it if you already have air and club grand synths? What do you think? I think any synth that's under $50 is worth it. How is it on CPU? Trash. But that's the beauty of it. <laughs> it's trash on CPU, guys. By the time you open up two or three of these, it's over. But not for nothing. You know, Command B. If you use a Studio One, we good. We lit. We lit, baby. What are we talking about? 
We got it as a waveform, so I ain't even stunting on that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got ain't nothing to talk about. It. What what uh what did, what did Shannon Sharp say? Ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. <laughs> Every trap beat is one bar, so I'll do a one bar pattern. Hopefully, actually, I might double it up just because I like variation. Just because I like variation. I don't hear knocking. Oh, you doing that thing again? Stop that. Bruh. This is how we do. Let's call it what it is. It's a clap. I'm going to start with a clap because why not? Um, I've been really good about game staging lately. As long as Relay is here. Relay saves the day. I'm hitting a negative 12 on the actual mixer. Negative 12 on the master. They say negative 18 is ideal. So I want to try that theory out. So negative 18 would have to be negative 15 here, right? Yeah. Um, so the same thing here. This synth is loud as all get out. Yeah, it's around negative 24. Okay. I'm lit. And I have my input quantize on, so don't get it twisted. We're doing 16th notes. And because it's a Zaytoven kit, I'm going to try to NPC swing on it once I get all the elements in there. Most classic hi-hat of them all. Let's just do a straight 16th or whatever. Why did you do that? I'll take the breaks. I'll take the pauses. I try to do triplets. Trash. And then I'm going to alternate between chants and open hi-hats. That's definitely his signature sound. Although we could say Shorty Red's. That's, short, that's actually Shorty Red's signature sound. Then Zaytoven took it. So I guess Zaytoven can't be mad that we're taking it, can he? <laughs> I stopped naming my joints, why do that? I named them so the file inherits the name because this gets annoying like later in the future because like sometimes some things don't be named properly like the utility of the sound isn't usually the name of the sound when I make beats at least. These are pretty straightforward so far but sometimes you'll be like percussion sound and it's really a tom drum so I try to get in the habit of naming it correctly. All these are ugly. Mom live. Move it over. Straight ahead workflow, nothing crazy. I don't know where the patterns are coming from. I'm just playing it as I hear it because after all, trapping that damn deep. Let me just fix these suedo triplets because they're getting on my nerves now. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Um, you're my nerves, babe. Oh, my last nerve. Ooh, yeah. 
Um, I'll sauce it up. Let me sauce these up before I put a kick in there. Or, or 808 in my case. Looperator's not my favorite list. I'm just going to put everything that I use, every daggone video on my favorite list. I'm tired of looking for stuff because I don't know the names of these companies like I need to. Right click, add to favorite. Now every time I come here, bong. It's the same three plugins. I don't know why I'd be flexing like I want to change something up. I never am. Let's clear you out. Let's sauce you up for one bar. Pause. So it's using eight. I wanted to use all 16. Shout out to CMP. He says use the vowel filters. I don't hear him. Well, am I on the wrong track? What ifs? I ain't got time. Stop the top. It's working. I just don't hear the vowel filter. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Nope. No stutter stops. I need even thirds. Like that. I can change the attack of these. Ain't that about them. It's almost like velocity hacking. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it is. There she is. She's alive. Effects. I'll put one effects in the beginning. We do a tape stop on hi-hats. Who does that? Mm, too, too, uh, too abrupt. You don't hear it when it's too slow. Let's try delay. I like that, actually. That's a fly ass delay. Cool. So I don't need to use a hi hat loop. Just made my own. Money. I'm going back through the comments real quick because I'm about to move on to the base and I'm almost done. Hey. The retail, I don't know, fellas. I saw it at the price it saw it, and I looked at my wave credit and I just got it. I got it for like $15. All wave VSTs are heavy, yes. S1 all the way, what's good, Nuke? I have to hold off on buying any more software this year. What's good, L Boogie? Why don't you use a mix tool? Because I have Relay. Like, um, you can use mix tool instead of Relay, but the difference is Relay takes the uh, spectrum of the track that it's on and it feeds it to Neutron. No, it's supposed to feed it to Neutron. In the current moment, it's, it's feeding it to a uh, Nectar 3. So you do the uh, automatic uh, automatic uh, spectrum uh, subtraction. What do they call it? There's a word for what it's called. Um, but Nectar 3 does it. Instead of doing automatic mixing, it does the one where it subtracts the EQ. So if you have a track that's not using Neutron or Nectar, like all of them, like all the Relay tracks, you can still feed that information to it. So my thought is they're going to update Neutron, I'm almost certain, to do the same thing. So I'm just in the habit of doing it. So what that means is if you have a problem negotiating the frequencies between like a lead and a piano, um, you can put Neutron on the P, no, yeah, well, no, yes, yes, no. It doesn't matter which one you put it on. You can put Neutron, let's say on the piano, and you want to subtract the frequencies of the lead. So all you gotta do is put a relay on lead, and that spectrum is mapped, and Neutron subtracts it from the piano, or vice versa. <clears throat> I understand why they did that with voice, because a lot of people two-track vocals, or two-track in general. Um, but inevitably it's going to be on every instrument. So why not? And also relay has dope filters. Like, uh, when you expand it, it does the phase of polarity, everything mix tool does, but then it has the isotope filters and there's quite a few of them. And then you could delay the tracks and all that. And it's RMS metering built into it. So instead of opening up three different plugins to see and deal with all of this, you know, 
This one's more visual too, so it is what it is. You use what you want though. I have to catch it next for Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, y'all bugging. How you liking the flow sim fam? I'm using it for this key right now. I'm about to bring more elements in. Just give me one second to get my rhythm right. Once I get the rhythm right, I start hearing other sounds. I'm learning Studio One now and I'm trying to break free of Pro Tools. I'm about to binge on your videos. Well, just keep in mind, I'm not like, like a step-by-step -step Studio One teacher, in fact. Like I just do this, the, the dope hacking stuff and I just happen to be in Studio One. Toon says, are you using Atom? No, I did all this by hand using the Akai Mini. And the only key I'm using is C3 and I'm likely gonna break it soon. Um, Michael says, thanks for the follow on Instagram. Did I follow you on Instagram? What's your name on Instagram? I try to follow everybody back that's not selling me hair. What's good, Ephraim? What's good, Grimy? You search, bro? I do, but um, when I use search, it brings up both the VSC and the AU, and it doesn't tell you which one is which. So I have to look at it to see, to make sure I got the right version of the plugin I want to use. Or I need to disable AU in the menu somehow. I should have picked up Looperator by Mr. Cell. Ain't no rush. We got, we got cable guys still. I'm an idiot. I didn't know Looperator did hats that easy. What do you guys think? I did like five, I like, I like name drop Looperator in like five videos in the past Black Friday week and y'all thought I was just playing around. Come on, I don't just buy stuff for no reason. Someone told me, yo, MG. Nah, I ain't gonna go there. Struggle Richardson. <laughs> I like your first name, bro. Spoiling this, I didn't even catch up to yesterday's stream. Don't worry, yesterday's stream was only two hours, but somehow it ended up being four hours of me having an album release party. Can you do easy starter hats with Shaper Box? Yes, you can do something very similar with Shaper Box. You just gotta get used to drawing the envelopes for that. I never got used to like drawing complex envelopes in it. I just go through the presets, cause there's like a hundred of them. And then I use it for like tape stop and stuff like that. But this is super specific. I got Looperator for one specific reason and that's what is the lyric I want to use for that? I had a lyric for that. I messed up. I took too long. Um, remember? <laughs> they never loved us. That's why I got Looperator. Looperator was my best Black Friday purchase, I think. Sounds like an Astral World type beat. Oh, we're almost there. I still have to catch them on CMP videos. Oh, traitors. I hate myself. I've been avoiding plugins everyone else uses. Shouldn't have avoided this one. Relay is low key fire. Is really on sale. It's part of Nectar 3, Neutron, and uh, their new plugins. I'm pretty sure I got it because of Nectar 3, though. Relay sounds like Neutron's mixtap, basically. I have to get to class to take the rest. I will have to watch the videos later, guys. All right, Marketplace, take it easy in the classes. Those hair companies stay on. Yeah, bro. What's different between Relay and mixtap? I don't know. I wasn't using mixtap, so I, I honestly can't compare it. I just under, when they made it relay, I made, it made sense. It's like, you're relaying this signal to a AI processor. And then my brain snapped and said, I should be using that all the time since only, everyone's fussing with me about mixing. Still messing with Serato? I'm on the fence still, of course. If I'm sampling, I'm using Serato. Matter of fact, my Machine Masters video, Wednesday, I use Serato. The video that's on Machine Masters right now for me for today is a Serato sample video. <clears throat> Mikey Lord, all right, I'll keep my eye out for you, fam. Looperator's the truth. Relay is Nectar, is in Nectar, in Insight. I don't know. I just know when I noticed it as a standalone and when I saw what it did on my Nectar video, I was like, huh, use it on everything. And then uh, Isotope sent out that survey about what you're looking forward to. And I made sure I gave them my minds full. And I'm pretty sure Relay is going to be the answer to what I, what I suggested. MG, are you ready for the new Pro EQ3 tomorrow? Not really. Someone else asked me that on Twitter, but you guys got to realize I just got the Fab Filter EQ. I don't need a new one. It it tilts. As long as it tilts, I ain't got no problem. A lot of that stuff they probably gonna add in three is probably gonna be more automated. So it's gonna start being more like Neutron, like I've been saying this whole week. That's gonna be interesting. I believe it's gonna be an AI update because they can't do nothing else in terms of mid side. Um, they might change the color of it, but it has to be an AI update. And if that's the case, they should hit me up. What's good, Deshaun? Bomb. So let me go back into my zone real quick, guys. I'll come back. Need a file 808. Please stop loading. Oh, this hard drive is. 
I need to put it on my main drive, but I don't like filling up my main drive with sounds. That's the only one we need, really, to be honest with you. I could delete the rest of those 808s. I doubt that's really a C note, but we're going to use it anyway. So I'm noticing Trap lately, they haven't been doing like the popping kick patterns. They've been doing really slow. Like if you listen to Juice World, you listen to any new song actually that has 808 in it, they're not doing the, they're not doing the old pattern that they used to do. They have this, they're not, no, I'm sorry. They're doing what I just did. They're not doing. They used to do that all the time. Now they're doing. And how you start your kick pattern, 808 pattern, sets the whole tone for the genre anyway, in my opinion, so. I'll show you better than I can tell you. hope it's in key and let's uh, melt the pitch it's called freeze pitch I call it melt the pitch because it melts it it bakes it into the file bake is a 3d term I don't know why I'm using that like y'all know what I'm talking about I'm gonna, <coughs> oh god I'm gonna turn my scale snap on I guess you gotta turn off follow scale snap on and I use the fifth which is the top of the chord usually right so I have to go up five because it's the fifth. It's snapping, so that's one, two, three, four, five, I hope. I'm not gonna do it on that one. I'm gonna do it on one of these. This one's gonna be the third. I think that's how it works. Did I go up too high? I did. Yeah. Okay, and this one could be the third. Yeah. And then I'm gonna uh, freak that, make it a different ending. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe take a few of them. I hate when they climb up. I'll make it climb up. It needs to be a, a focus on that. Let me go to my 808. I know, bro. Okay. Meh. Let's get another flow motion in here. So now I I know what chord that is. I don't normally play that chord, so I gotta get my my finger memory, pause, my muscle memory, and play something that goes with that. Basically, I can just play the chord tones. I need to find out what shape that scale is real quick. If E is in that scale, I know what it is. E is not in this scale. So it's the first white keys and all the black keys. First white keys, all black keys. Huh. That's a lie. Did I play a major key? I didn't play a major key. Why would it be that? 
Hold on. I'm bugging, bro. I could have sworn I played a minor. A sharp minor, right? Oh, I'm on drugs. My bad, guys. Whew. Whew. <laughs> I played this chord. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, God. I was playing G sharp. A sharp minor sounds like that. I'm like, bro, that don't, that don't feel right. Even I got enough sense to know that ain't it. So I guess just on the on the downbeats I can do that. Yeah, that's money all day. And that's technically a stab and not a string. You know how they do it though. They be acting like they be doing the most music theory. You just reusing chords. Stop flexing. All right, so we move that up. Mute that. Let's go into the mix. Where's my sound? This is my sound. Let's start naming these. These. Let's move this back. Let's use the 808 as a subdivider. Let's take all the drum tracks that are not an 808, color it. Let's take all the synths that are a thing, color it. Let's take everything that's unused or becomes unused and make it white or black, just so out of sight, out of mind. 808s hit hard, make it orange or red, helps me out, bong. Okay, money. And this one, before I bounce it, I didn't put a relay on it. So I'm gonna put a naked relay on both of them. Meaning none with a preset. I just use regular old relay. Cause they're about the same level naked. Now I can turn this one down. All right, that's that on that. And then browser, another one. And this one, I'm gonna try to remember to put a relay on it. So when I bounce it, it doesn't make sense at this point in time, does it? Don't worry about me, guys. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I like leads a lot, but leads always change the genre or, or tone of my song. And I hate that I don't know how to do it no other way. And since this is one chord, you can play the whole daggone scale through it. That's what's interesting about trap that's one chord. It's an arpeggiator. Oh, I'm bugging. I might do it like that, though. Should I do single keys? I think single keys might work. a lot as a lot loud yeah because i noticed like some of the uh, youtube producers like the ones that are good i noticed them boys be having like five synths stacked up but they're not heavy they're not like chordal they're just like these different melody lines that kind of blend together like it's like someone played three arps doing at different rhythms and i, I always wonder why they do that and that's because when you drop the main element the track doesn't sound empty or naked, so it's pretty ingenious on their part. I need to stop hating on them and just start doing it myself. Um, Timberland does it too. Like He'll stack his kick with like a tom, a choir voice, and all that stuff. But I never made the connection to why people who use one-finger chords are doing that. 
But it makes sense because if you could find the ARPs, painstakingly find all the ARPs that sound good together, that's a talent in itself. Can't nobody tell me different. That's kind of difficult, to be honest. because They don't all sound good together. All right, we lit. She need to be all the way down, buddy. So it's just out there in the background. It's out there in space. Yeah, that's how the that's how the cool kids are doing it. All right. Um, what else would I need? That melody is so tough. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe something solid to hold the bottom down. The 808 ain't doing it for some reason. Classics? What's a classic FM sim? A flute? Don't get me started. Hell yeah, we doing flutes. What, we, what you mean, bro? What you mean? Yes, we doing flutes. I gotta do a flute. Sometimes flutes is all we got. This is gonna be my Metro Boomin' flute. The Waves FM flute. Scott Storchett. Oh, and then I do a counter melody on the other side, on the black hand side. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll bring that 2005 back real quick. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Make sure all you guys are muted and not using resources. If that's the way that works, I doubt it. Let's relay you. Let's color you pink. Wrong blue, but that's okay. That last one was a hidden arp, secret dragon. This one was a flute. Mm, let's fix the color of that. Let's dupe that. Now I gotta fix the, the counterpart or the part that's after that. I went descending, dun -dun, and I'm gonna try to go ascending on the other part. And the only way you can really do this, in my opinion, unless you can play play, and I'm not, I never pretend I can play play. But uh, if you're using one chord for everything, it's just so it's easy. It, sometimes it doesn't make sense to use more than one because of how we're building this. We're building up the complexity of one chord. We're not building up the complexity of a progression. Is there another classic in there that sounds good? Japanese harp? Oh, we're about to do some Japanese type stuff. There ain't no harp. Relax. Still guitar? Neptunes. Okay. I see you. Let's see what happens.
It's just a brass stab. Sometimes that's all you need. Maga. Let's bring it up. Why do I have so many tracks? I don't ever use this many tracks. I'm bugging right now, to be honest with you. But. But. It is what it is. Let's bring it next to the flute as they are friends. One thing I'm going to add, I probably don't need to add it, but I'm going to add it because I don't have a reason. I just want to see what they sound like. What do your leads sound like? Your, your low leads, what do they sound like? Yeah, sounds like Skrillex. Come on, they're like eight years late to that party. Oh yeah, that's right when the movie started, ain't it? We used to do this back in the day because Danger Hands was doing this. No, that's a damn lie. That was uh, the runners doing that. Yeah, the runners was doing that. I'm so hood. Yeah. No. Oh. Ah. Uh. only do that one chord if I could do it on every chord I'd be lit <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do those harmonies again. I just made that up, so I don't. I can't fix what I made up. Runners. I love it. It's not appropriate for the genre, but I love it. Because I love it, I'm keeping it. Okay. And I'll just do that for a break or a bridge or something or before the hook comes in. I don't have to use it the whole, the whole joint. Mm-hmm. And for that, for that to work, I need a kick. I can't do that with an 808. The 808's gonna get lost. So I need the kick to bring it, bring the rhythm focus back in, to bring it back into the fold. Um, it, Zayto only uses one kick though. And that ain't the one. Young Kiko, you got more than one kick, don't you, my friend? They're trash too. 
there with an 808. Thank you. Thank you for making that very convenient, my friend. Yeah, that's the beater. Um, I don't know what rhythm I used again. But the kick could be a different rhythm. It doesn't even matter. It's like, just follow the first three kicks and the rest could be whatever the hell you want. At least that's what it sounds like when I hear what they're doing these days. I know what I need to do. I'll just trace it. I'll trace it. I do need it to follow the, the middle kick because of that space in the middle. Go here and go to 808 track. Just overlap where it happens. Boom. 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 Need. Gotta go. Maybe the double kick there. Maybe not. And sometimes that kick means that there's more coming but if you only use one pattern of it don't do that don't ever ever occupy wall street right here if you don't have a variation to follow it if you're using the same thing i should say if you're looping that pattern don't ever put a kick at the last quarter now the kick is too loud of course naturally i'll make this kick actually the lowest sound in this track of drums I need to subtract it from my 808. Use track spacer for that. I don't know who makes it. Base factory? Money. Right click, favorite. Bong. Bong. Get over here. Kick, I need you to go to track spacer. Track spacer, I need you to high cut 33 because that's sub frequency. I need you to have a filter on you. This one. This 808 sounds crunchy. I hate it. I need my loudspeakers on. These headphones are lying to me. But that's the gist of it. All right. Send my drums to the same bus, but I'm not sending my 808 to that bus. Drum bus. Synth bus, bang. And relative level wise, those instruments are too loud. And it's more like that. And the reason why like, uh, I have this thing is because to fix this problem, this particular problem, <laughs> it's easy. That's it. I think that's it. I don't even think I need this. We about to find out when I change the thing. Um, Since I'm building in two blocks, each section of the song is two blocks, right? The intro is two blocks. The pre-hook will be two, two blocks. And then the verse will be two block, two block. The only way to differentiate of these sections is to drop stuff. 
So there ain't gonna be no 808 when the song come on. The beat drop may not have kicks the whole time. Now visually I can see what part of the song is which. Even here. Lit. Um and then I just repeat this pattern on the other side. Now I gotta figure out how the intro is gonna be. I don't wanna show them every sound. Although the runners would, the runners would definitely play all the damn sounds. Can I do it without the main sound though? Yes. So my intro is the same thing as my pre. So bang, 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 money. Before the Kill Bill Siren, there was that. Slam, 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 slam. That'll denote every time this track loops. Stack it up. Count it up. Count it. For old time's sake. For old time's sake. We're going to do that for old time's sake. Um, I don't need the whole, the whole John. That. I gotta fix the levels of everybody. He has impact sounds, really? <laughs> All right, Alice DJ. I, I know where those kits, I know where he made his kit from too. That's the funny part. We don't have those no more. China. We'll use the boot up DJ Mustard kit. I don't need all those, but I just want to see what happens. I want to see some real quick. Relay, and on these, negative 15 is fine. Money, money. Yeah, that's how she dropped. That is how it's going to happen. Bruh, move. And here, before that drop, I need all y'all to just stop. Bruh. And then when that transition happens back to the verse, I need the same exact thing, not more dramatic. Then um, I'm really asleep. Uh, I don't have any snare rolls. These kids, the old school guys, love a snare roll. <laughs> Zaytoven, he has one for me to use. Either one of those will do. You know, it's like Drake's upset is this kit. I was so upset when I heard upset. I was like, you're not even good at being Zaytoven. But it worked. Kids like it. Mm. I didn't sustain that note, child. Calm down.
good enough. Relay, relay. Ah, uh, Tremolo. And I only use that like an effect. Spurling. Money. Bruh, stop following the daggone track. Let me cook. <laughs> and then I need to take the runners out. The runners don't need to be through this whole track. Although it sounds fine like that. You just rap. If it was a more aggressive rapper, he could rap straight through that. Now I need it. I'll do half and half. I'll do half and half. I'll do half and half. Oh, I muted the keys. I'm a genius. I don't need half and half. Yo, I'm bugging. I was like, why don't I hear what I need to hear? Hold on, though. That means this doesn't need it if it's been muted the whole time. Yeah, my, my hook don't need the chords. Oh, that's lit. That's going to give me a lot of different options, though. I need to turn that way down. flute and the brass to call and response part. I don't need that either. Until the second half. A hey. Yes, but no. No hi hats. That's not fun. Need the hi hats the whole part until here.
Funny. Personas, fix this. That's annoying.
Huh. Tricky part. Isolation. Everything else is lit. can be banned. Hit that a bitch. You need an envelope. You're trash. Don't do these. Envelope on. You. Appreciate it. Why is it so loud, though? Then lastly, for another fix channel, and I'm out of here. I'm gonna call it para because I'm para. I'm para leveling everything. Blue face. They don't they as as blue face. I need my blue face. Hey, hello, bluey. In your face, vocal. Let's do. We'll send you there, and then we'll adjust how much of each of you go there. Money. That's all I need to do. There's more to do, but I ain't doing it. <laughs> Not today. Devil is a lie. Um, let's go get, get you. Um, 
I need that money on the dollar. I think everything that I pick out of waves is a VST3 or VST2. But the ones, they're in two different folders. They have two different folders. The ones that are AU or... It's not even, it's by the shell. It unwraps the, the wave shells into two different folders. It's quite annoying, to be honest. So I try to take a snapshot of the ones that I use that are VST. Too loud. That'd be cool to end it on, but no. I'm ignorant enough to do that. Ending like that. Trash. How do I fix these? Why are you so freaking loud? That's why I got you. You fix all that nonsense. Let me do that prior to the head. I think that's it that's all i would do there's more to do but you can't do it without voice it'd be wasting time it is wasting time it's all chasing the wind but sometimes you just gotta show people you ain't playing around with them sometimes you don't See what that sounds like. Which waves bundle did you get? I bought every wave plugin one at a time. 
or a deal at a time. More like deals. I never got a bundle. I bought all these over like four or five years. Clipping has occurred. Trash. Um, which bus clipped? That should be fine. Oh my clap. That should be fine. Let me put L2 on it just in case. Beat the whole purpose of game staging, don't you think, Studio One? That's what happens when you have too many tracks, though. It ain't Studio One's fault. I just will use way too many tracks. Um... Hi, Adwes. Did I mono my sub? No, I don't mono 808s. I will, I should, would, could mono the kick though. Or all the drums, to be honest with you. Every drum could theoretically be mono. Like they used to be back in the day in the Paradise Garage. But um, in terms of stereo separation, Keymaster handles that. So we ain't gotta worry about that. Hove did that, so hopefully you ain't gotta go through that. Yeah. Yeah, track follow is annoying because I never turn it on. It turns itself on. Hey, bro, do you know anything about Waves NLS? No, it's not one that I've had. Yeah, I'm on Mac. So I'm on. I get AUs and VSTs grouped into the Waves uh, 10.0. There's I have two Waves containers. I only notice them at FL Studio though. FL Studio will show the two different waves containers. And you notice one's for VST3 and one's for VST2. Um, Studio One doesn't uh, discriminate against it that way. It'll be waves and then waves ink. It's just messy. But I'll be honest with you, bro, I don't put that much thought into it. Like I haven't, like until you asked me that question, I never thought about it. I just know that in order for the crosstalk to work to all detraction, you need VST3. Um. This is downloaded. Uncompressed wave. We pay for that, so hopefully you ain't gotta go through that. I don't wanna see that. I wanna see what it sounds like. I'm so good.
Trap is one bar, one chord. No one listen to me though. They think I'd be playing around. I'll be playing around. I get it. I get it, get it. But um, it's cool. That's cool. That's a cool sounding synth. Um, uh, it's kind of limited to that, like I was last night. But yeah, it's normally a hundred dollars. It's on sale for thirty nine. If you use the link that's in this description, it's ten percent off. So you get like three dollars off, right? Is that how you do the math on that? Ten times three is thirty. Thirty nine. Three dollars. You get four dollars off. So you probably get it for like thirty five dollars, right? Um, but I like it. I like that it had the runner's lead in there. I didn't know that was FM synthesis. And that explains to why I can never find it in my analog synths. Um, I like the bells, because FM is bells. If not anything, it's bells and mallets and DX keyboards. Um, for trap, though, I think they're still leaning towards real pianos or sample pianos. So you'd still, to fill that mid-range, I need an acoustic piano. I can't do it with this. Um, the pads on here sound lovely too. FM pads are the best sounding pads because they evolve. Um, bass, because the way they did this, you can like create an operator that's a sign, so you can technically make subs with it. Um, I do not like their bass presets though. Maybe one, the sub one I like. Um, the rest are like they're very dubstep center, very Euro. European dance type things and that's fine by all by all means I guess that that's their demographic but um we're gonna need sound designers to really uh, exploit the synthesizer because I think it'll make every sound it'll make every sound because they approached it like it's subtractive almost it's weird like they made it like they're trying to go after serum almost the only thing to serum's advantage is that s technically serum is a wave player too it's like a sound font player you load a a piano note into serum and it'll play the whole piano that's just the benefit of a wavetable but synth synthesize sounds this one's up there with serum the way it sounds mixing it is easy too i didn't eq nothing I'm telling you you put that pro q on the daggone bus it's a wrap why would you eq that probably should have put reverb on the bus though so it's separated from my drums better before i use the parallel compressor and that's why when people are saying, like, did I do certain things in the mix? I know with Emastered, I don't have to do half of that. What you have to achieve is balance. Because it brings up the average level of everything. And I'm, I guess I'm used to hearing it that way. I'm, I'm used to hearing what my tracks sound like unmixed versus what they sound like when they come out. So I don't overcompensate in the mixing part. In the mixing part, I just put, as you've seen, most of it was creative effects. It wasn't really, like, this much threshold, this much EQ. Like, no, nah, that was all filtering. because being stubborn but uh if i didn't put lo-fi plugins on it i wouldn't even have to have done that but yeah that's waves flow motion fm synth thousand presets it's the only reason why i got it as i said out of a thousand of those 25 got to be nice and so far we up to 10 so i'll find my 25 nice ones and keep that in mind channel 501 yo one chord music. Hey, one chord, one bar, man. FM synthesis is the DX7. Yes. Product placement. Actually, no, not really. Um, Waves has never hit me up, despite how much money I spend with them. <laughs> Waves is the only company that hasn't been like, yo, MG, I like your videos. Um, No, I bought this. Straight up. I'm only talking about it because it's an urban synthesizer and it's the most affordable. Like you want me to say, get serum for $160 by all means. But if you got $40, what are we talking about? You people are ridiculous. What would you recommend using ozone to matter? What would you not recommend using ozone on master? If we use e mastered, e mastered. Um, no. Ozone is a lot of things. E mastered is its own beast. Just like lander is its own beast. I'm trying them all. You know what I mean? Like before Ozone was automatically mastering things, I went through Lander. I got a chance to hear what Lander sound like. Then I stopped that subscription when it ended. And I started seeing what Ozone, I think when eight or seven or eight came out the first time or the towards the middle of the year, early this year, I did quite a few to see what those sound like. And now I'm just in my E-Mastered season. By the time I'm out of the E-Mastered season, there'll be another one. 
I'm sure. Someone name dropped like three of them the other day. I didn't know there was three of them. So there's more out there. It's all up to flavor, but you can't you can't determine what the flavors are until you get enough tracks, enough range of your tracks processed by them. So when you go backwards in time, you go, which one sounded better or which one am I more fond of? And I haven't had enough tracks in Emaster to decide yet. How experiment is the routing? Oh, like the LFOs and stuff? From what I could tell, the four main shapes can be sent to any, uh, there's like these little circles that they fit into, but I didn't see like an explicit mod matrix. I'm sure that's probably an advanced setting. The thing that makes this stand out isn't that, it's the snapshots. The snapshots can be used to modulate. So you can step sequence modulation, which like I said yesterday or last night when I first did this video, most of those questions I answered, but it's more like an electron synth, which is very interesting. Like the electrons FM synthesizer, it's very similar in principle. I don't have top three VSTs, unfortunately, because they all change because of Black Friday. And I'm spending time with them. That's why I'm doing more live videos and like making stuff in real time. Because it's hard for me to like sit down and rush through a plugin with like, you know, and make it a 10 minute video without actually spending time with it. So now that I've done technically four to five hours of this particular synth, I can tell you it sounds great. It hasn't, uh, hasn't disappointed me when it comes to filling a role of a particular sound. That's very important. It's like if I went into the lead section, all the leads were trash, you know. I was just uninstalled. <laughs> I would uninstall. I have no time for that. And that's just on a preset level. But if they can't make a good lead preset, like what good is it? Forget about what I can make. But yeah, man. I think I got most of those questions. I know there are some in between, but I don't even know if these people are still in the room. I left right around here. Mikey Lord said he had him on IG. I'll check him out there. Spins 808. There's a few spins 808s. I think I finally got that folder. I got another folder called 808 Flames, though. That has way more. I think 808 Flames is all the 808s. Like someone curated it. And then my bro, uh, DJ Kaz, I bought a curated folder off of him. So I didn't have to look for stuff. FM Flute A. Hey. That very first riff was it. Ableton Capture would have had your back. Yeah. Unfortunately, Studio One doesn't have that built in. Put a low pass on the runners. Yeah. Yo, I ain't know this NPC live syncs with Ableton. Yeah. Almost everything has live's link feature now. Take the flute out of the intro. Oh, your, um, your hook. The flute is the hook, technically. Your hook is always the intro and the hook or the first. So you always put in the first three seconds in the middle 130 second mark. But that's when we start getting into analyzing Dr. Luke and stuff. You don't have to do that. I do it because they sell millions of records and I don't. So I do it until someone tells me not to. <laughs> I would love to hear someone like Freddie Gibbs on this. Yeah, I'm like some barred up rapper to try it. Yo, is the H-Comp showing? Okay, so yeah, I caught up. Hopefully I answered everything. What is my favorite, my specific affiliate code? It's in the uh, videos, in the live videos description. It's just my Waves. Waves generates a generic 10% uh, off for everyone when you buy it, the referral program, basically. I always repost it on Twitter when I buy something and people would be like, what do you buy this time? So I figured, hey, I can hack the matrix if I just make a video about it and get more people to see. Um, and that helps me greatly because I spent a lot of money on Waves plugins this past week. I probably spent more money on Waves than the companies that I wanted to spend money on. Like, for instance, I didn't grab Nexus yet. Oh, yeah, and I took my dog to the vet yesterday, too. That was like rent. I paid rent to fix his foot. <laughs> but I have to go back every day, and they want $30 a day. They're bugging, bro. Like, the way they, the way they do business is crazy. Like, can you imagine that? $30 a day follow-up. And if they don't remove the tube, because they put a tube to, to leak... Um, he's in the other room, but, uh, they put a tube through his foot for it to leak. And technically we can't, we have to go back until they remove that tube. So it's $30 every time I see this woman in the face. Crazy. So hopefully she takes the tube out tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but 
he's fine. So, yeah, I didn't buy half the stuff I wanted to buy because I wanted to take care of him. So, eh, waves it is. Nah, they did. She didn't. She didn't amputate. I would call him here, but he's on drugs right now, and the drugs knock him out. Uh, what what happened was this part of his his hand was a they call it a, a hemo hemo lamoma. What do they call those different type of things? She said it this morning. But anyway, imagine just a tumor, a fat tumor. And it was small, and he could walk on it. He could run. He always runs on it. So we didn't think it hurt him because he's, like, hardcore. But then it started getting bigger, and what it started doing is start splitting his uh, toes apart because it grew and the center mass changed. So what she did was she put an incision on both sides and then peeled it out, and then she put sutures surrounding it. So now what happened is it looks ugly because all the the blood and the stuff, but she had to put a tube through it, through the bottom. So his pad or whatever, his pads come back and um, so that nothing refills it or the body doesn't try to attack and put it back. That's what they're afraid of. And then once they take that tube out, they could sew it up and be done and just wrap it. It's a very interesting thing for something that seems so simple. I wish I had the money to do it much sooner or I had the knowledge that I had to do it much sooner. But when you think about dogs, you don't think for them to live this long. My dogs are old, but they act like kids. Like the black one over there, he's he's as old as my relationship and his brother's when you're younger. They're like 11 and 10. And honestly, I didn't, it's my first time having anything, friend, animal, foe, anything this long in my life. So um, the moment I saved up enough money to take care of it, we took care of it. The biggest thing I've done like that, that's crazy. What advice can you give on creating beats on the fly? What do you mean by creating beats on the fly? Like, like in the sense of what I just did? Um, I've been speaking to this a lot. Like, almost everything I do is a hypothesis, right? Like, I knew this particular synth. Like, last night I had a whole diatribe about it, right? But then today I was like, let me revisit it now that it's in my subconscious. And I just said my, my theory was trap is one bar. And if trap is one bar, that's only room for one chord. And then I made my track based on that theory, you know? And then the influences um, I pulled in was that when I thought about Trap, I thought about Zaytoven, so I went to his drum kit. When I went to his drum kit, I thought about Hi-Hats, and I thought about Metro and Southside, so I thought about Looperator. And then when I thought about that, I was like, oh, this is giving me that bounce feeling. Let me look for bells and stuff that goes with bounce beats. And then when you start going through those sounds in the FM synth, you start hearing where you've heard them before, or their texture, you know, your mind. Basically, my brain's like sounding them. Like, I've heard the runner lead before so i used it like a runner lead so you just get to a point where you fill up a track and you're like oh that's it you know it was a fluke that i saw that flute in there you know i didn't i didn't know there was a dx flute so i said well let me metro boom in my flute but it was really more like scott storch the way i went a and b with it so i have all these variables in my head that i call it by the producer's name but it's really not the producers it's really not a metro thing it's something I've done before he was a producer. It's really not a runner's thing because those low end simps are in house music. So I use those terms or those synonym tags and filters to help me pull in other information. So I'll nickname it something that encapsulate all the variables that my brain has associated with it. And it just helps me be to create whatever I want. So if I said like Rodney Jerkins or something, you know, I would think about the rolling guitar i would think about triangles for some reason percussion triangles i would think about uh, arpeggios that run up multiple octaves and i would pick one of those elements and try it out if i say dr dre you know you think of those dark yamaha pianos or you'll think of um acoustic snares more than anything and you'll think of uh um, worm leads and funk and you know you'll think about the parliament and bootsy collins and you get into this matrix of what it means when you think of dr dre so i have done that for everyone that i've listened to so all I have to do is throw words around and I can create, but it's not the same thing as like copying somebody. And that's the thing I can't explain or intellectualize. I'm not copying nobody. I don't need to. I can. <laughs> I'm probably the best at that, to be honest, but I don't. I intentionally avoid it in this particular platform. But uh, from a creative standpoint, if I don't do that, then my beats just sound like what my 10 minute tutorials are. Like I just throw some things around because I'm not really interested 
I'm not really feeding that mechanism that I spent a decade developing. Um, the same thing with mixing. Like I think about, <laughs> I think about mixing the same way, bro. And um, now I'll make it a five hour video if I get really anal about that. Like I watched my uncle mix a record where he just let the snare loop for an hour. I was like, God damn, can you imagine if he had Neutron? <laughs> so, you know, uh, I think that's what the advantage is, you know, getting older in music. The advantage of like going through trap, like everyone says trap sounds the same. So like if a person starting is listening to trap and that's all they ever make, then of course there's going to be this homogeny with how the beat sound. And that's why it's so important for you to reference older stuff or other stuff or get out of your comfort zone. But that's the beauty of what hip hop was, because in hip hop, you're finding samples and samples are just songs. So you're listening to like these these catalogs from all the ages, from all the decades of people's music. And you're hunting for a sample. But what you're really doing is you're programming your mind with possibilities because, you know, the dramatics might have like that sample that Kanye used. But, you know, there's 10 more, but you got to listen to 30 of them to find them. So your brain sets a framework and then you compare that to the impressions and uh, the shy lights and, you know, the spinners and you start to hear the similarities in that, you know, the, the electric sitar and stuff like you. will Because I was a sample based producer, primarily in my developmental years, I can just psychoanalyze the hell out of music like it had nothing to do with making beats. It was just I really wanted the best samples uh, and I really wanted to enjoy the best music and create the best sounding music that I possibly could. And then when you translate that, and as we say, we dumb this down to trap. This is really not dumbed down. It's just that these particular kids don't have range because we kind of took and shunned samples away from them. I really think that's the answer to it. I, I honestly think because sampling seems so whack to a teenager or the radio didn't figure out the financial and monetization loopholes for sampling someone else's music that this particular generation got robbed. They got robbed of ear training. They got robbed of vibe hunting. They got, they got, they got robbed of being able to compare what a whack sample is with hip hop drums on it and what a good sample does when you put hip hop drums on it. So that's my hot take. I use all of them in context. I got a matrix for plugins too. I got a matrix in which I use plugins. He said, these two hour live streams are killing me. I don't know how. You ain't got to watch the whole thing. You can fast forward, bro. They're live. You know, they save and render. Watch them in your spare time. Yeah, you use track live. I'm in North Carolina. The hottest in the South. <laughs> you don't have to support. You don't have to watch these because they get saved and published. You don't have to sit here and watch me babble. I just try to answer everyone's question and explain myself so I can save the video and forward it to people who email me. Uh, my new format is a video game decision. I watch what the video game streamers do. And I said I should do that as a beat maker. It's really that simple. And it's been highly effective. I don't get as many random views of people harassing me um, about something I did wrong or why I didn't say something or why something, like why am I selling something? Because I'm actually working. And then I get to answer questions in real time. And I could do that every fucking day. I could do it 10 hours a day, honestly. Um, that would be boring to me, but I could do it. So I like the live stream aspect. I like it better than editing 10 minute videos, to be honest, because there's no editing. And what's stupid is I got a computer that excels at editing videos and I don't have to do that as much anymore. Life always does that. Um, but yeah, live streaming, YouTube streaming is where it's at for me. Like even if it's just 60 of y'all, sometimes it's 100, um, it translates very well on YouTube sense, because what happens is when it saves the video, when people do watch it, my views equalize back up to like a thousand views per video. But it's different 
like a lot of guys, like you know someone's going to do a review of this plugin, and they're going to make a struggle beat in seven minutes, and they're going to punt it for seven minutes times 3,000 views, and that'll be whatever it is. But if mine's is three hours times 1,000, or 180 times 1,000, I would have met their quota for their month in one video, even if only 1,000 people watched it. So you got to stay woke in these streets. Otto says, I go back and watch it two times speed like a pro. Hey, but let me get out of here, fellas. Um, if you guys have any requests or anything for my future sessions, let me know. When I save this, if you just walked in, you could rewind the live video. You could track it back and catch up and watch me make the beat and talk about the synth. Um, but sometimes YouTube renders it like an hour block at a time. So give it 30 minutes or so after I stop the stream and you will be able to watch the whole thing in entirety. Minus the censoring that the algorithm does. <laughs> Peace, guys.